Well, we got to get her coffee. She's always got to sip that coffee. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're ready. Can I drink it? Hey, drink it. Have fun. Kaylin Patterson, Midwest Muscle, sponsored by P for P. Real Talk Nation, realtalk.com. Here at Five Star Fitness, my second home. Second home. And I'm actually here with my little sister, Vanessa. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Vanessa. Um, and I have been training with Kaylin now for about a year now. Yeah. So he's changed me a lot mentally and physically. Um, yeah, so. Now, the DeKalb Spring Naturals is coming up. And you said you wanted to be ready for it. And, like, we, you know, we've talked in the past about shows and job, life, you know, things were just getting in the way. And I, I love your mentality where you said, it's not going to happen if I'm not at my best. I don't want to just step on stage just to step on stage. You seriously had a drive to actually compete. And if not win, know you did your best. Everybody should be coming at the stage with that mentality because it, it's not something that's a joke. It is. It might be a bucket list for a lot of people, but it's still a serious side and serious aspect because it, with judging and anything else, there's people that aren't seriously, like sometimes that aren't prepared for being judged, much less competing. And, you know, as a competitor and as somebody that's, you know, been in that arena before, I know that you're like taking this really serious and you've made a lot of changes mentally and physically to prepare for this one you want to talk some about that um yeah i mean uh it's been a, it's been a road it's been a, I, I know it's been like a lot of changes a lot of things you didn't plan a lot of things you did and you've seen better results it's really impressive yeah for me it's more of like um what I figured out now is not so much worrying about fixing what the judges think yes. or fixing what, you know, um, other people criticize of you. It's more of just you have to be willing to accept yourself the way you are. Mm -hmm. And once you can actually, you know, accept who you are, then you just, you take what you, you know, you, you work with what you have and then... You know, once you, you do that, and you don't focus on the bigger picture, you just focus on, like, the small little achievements along the way. And then you get the big it, picture. It leads up to the big picture, yes. and you realize that, you know, at the end of the day, you're just doing you. You're focusing on you. You're not really so much focusing on what everyone else thinks. Exactly. And, and one thing that we all have to be honest about is we're incredibly hard on ourselves when we get competitive. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be detrimental to the work you're doing. Yeah. And you and I have both spoken about yeah. this, you know, personally and openly, you know, that if you challenge yourself, don't destroy yourself in the process. Yeah. I mean, the people that are most successful are the ones that have failed many times. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to you're going to feel those times where you're going to hit rock bottom and stuff, but it's it's a normal thing and you just have to, you know, stick with it and um just keep doing you, I guess. Keep, yeah. you know. And and you you've been driven to get better. You've done better. And you know when we do the little tweaks and posing and stuff like that, it's like to see that transformation is really amazing. And then you can see all the work that you've done because you know doubt, worry, am I doing enough? There's always that one question and that basically keeps anybody yeah. that wants to get better driven. And it's am I doing enough? Yeah. Um. I mean, definitely, it's not just the lifting that you're doing enough, you know, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's all got to match, you yes. know, like, you know, mentally, like, your job, you know, school, everything, like, it all just has to match up, and, like, once, you know, you kind of figure out how to get one of those things lined up right, everything else is just going to fall into place. place. Yes, indeed. Just yeah. fix, like you said, the small things, if we could just address the small issues, the bigger issues get addressed yeah. by dealing with the small ones. Yeah. And, you know, you've had to deal with moving, you've had to deal with, you know, car, you have to deal with school. It, it, it's, it's like everybody has a background they've had to deal with, but you said, I'll focus on this and get that right, and then everything else fell into place. And it, it was a process. I mean, you, we talk about it now. 
Yeah. And it seems like, oh, you know, it's something easy to get over. It's not easy. No, it's not. I mean, it's, you know, sometimes people think I'm crazy. Like, when I say, like, oh, like, okay, like, I'm competing for a show. I, you know, I work on the weekends, and then I'm in nursing school on an accelerated program. And, like, I feel like a lot of people would hear that, and they're like, whoa, like, how do you do that? It's not impossible. But I just want to show people that, you know, it is. And it's really not hard. If, it's only hard if you make it hard. You know yes. I mean, so. Well, Vanessa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I mean, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This is my little sister, so I can say it. She is just adorable in her heart, and she does all the work. And I, I'm just so proud of the transformation because it took an awful lot. And everybody's got a life struggle. Everybody's got something going on. But they don't let it consume them. They fight back. And this lady, this young lady has done that and then some. So, Vanessa, thank you. Thank you for taking time with uh, P4P. Thank you for taking time at Five Star. And thank you so much for Midwest Muscle and me. Kaylin Patterson, Vanessa, Ooh, sister <laughs> from another mister. We